This is Don't Believe the Hype TV. I'm Tremont. What's up? I'm Dez, and we're gonna start things off with some hip hop news. After Nasir Jones announced he will be calling his upcoming studio album First Nigga and Now Nigger, there was a faulty report by Curses <coughs> as Fox News saying that Def Jam heads won't put out the album. However, LA Reed, chairman of Island Def Jam Music Group, told MTV News Anything Nas wants to do, I completely stand beside him. All I know is that Nas is, is prolific, he's prophetic, he's a genius. While I'm not sure exactly uh, all that it entails, I know it's smart, so I stand behind it. Method Man of Wu-Tang Clan had this interesting point to make. Last year, when he put out Hip Hop Is Dead, I was being interviewed and everybody was asking me what is the album. I think it was just too much emphasis on just the word. I know words worse than nigger. Darfur, real talk. Mr. I Was There pioneering rapper KRS-One is officially relaunching the Stop the Violence movement. The anti-violence effort led by superstar members of the hip-hop community was launched in 1989 in response to growing violence in the hip-hop community. The 2007 movement has gathered artists such as Lil Wayne, Fat Joe, and Ludacris amongst others. KRS is planning a soundtrack to a docudrama that is in the works which will break down the concept and history of violence in which he hopes will make its way to the big screen. There are two new public service announcements featuring various rappers that you can listen to on allhiphop.com. Start listening, start thinking, start moving, stop the violence. Rapper slash actor Common has announced the creation of Common Ground Foundation, Inc., dedicated to the empowerment and development of urban youth through arts and education. Already, the foundation has adopted families with school-aged children who were displaced by Hurricane Katrina. Currently, they are accepting money donations as well as school supplies and equipment through their website, commongroundfoundation.org. This program will also focus on HIV and AIDS awareness, something that the rapper has helped promote throughout his career. Wu-Tang's The RZA won the first annual Chess Kings invitation last week in San Francisco, which is sponsored by the Hip Hop Chess Federation, a nonprofit organization that promotes unity through chess, martial arts, and music. The proceeds from the event went to benefit underprivileged schools in the area. Up to $10,000 were raised in educational scholarships, which were awarded to participants from Oakland's Unity High, Youth Uprising, San Francisco's O'Connell High, and Muhammad University of Islam. In local hip-hop news, the second anniversary Run Your Jewels beat battle was held at the Dinky Tana Cafe on October 16th. The event was created by King Otto and Super Bush, which started as a monthly beat battle in 2005. All previous winners from the last two years were invited to the two-year anniversary competition with Dialect and Big Jess making to the finals and Jess taking the crown. The following night at the Dinky Towner, a last-minute relief show was put on to raise money for new MC, aka Big Zack of Cancer, who recently suffered a nose injury and required emergency surgery. Although there was only a week's notice, an impressive number of acts came out, most doing just 10 to 15 minute sets. FranzDiego.com, Illuminus 3, the chosen few, F-A-T, we're here tonight to celebrate Big Zach. And I'm here personally because Big Zach was the first local rapper I ever heard. I, I must have been like, must have been like 97, 98, never heard local rap before. When I heard that shit, I was like, okay, I know what's up. This is actual, this is reality, I can do this. After that, we started rapping, we started trying to do our shit. Nobody was giving us love. One of the only motherfuckers to give us love, Big Zach. And this isn't, this isn't a unique story. This dude has done this for countless crews throughout the city. And he's just an all around good person. All around, never seen him talk bad about nobody. And you can tell by the amount of people that are out here tonight, short notice, giving money, paying for his surgery. The 
community should do that shit for a person that's done something for the community. Those that made it out to support New MC included The Crest, Ill Chemistry, Big Quarters, Interlock All-Stars, Maven MC, Trauma, Ernie Rhodes, Prof, and Roswell, and more.